Question 7 um, says, find the matrix that represents the rotations in 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. Well, I did notice that quite a few of you just know the answer to this. And that was good. You've learnt it. You may be cheated by looking on the wall, the poster where it's written. No, you didn't. Good. Well, um, if, if you're panicking and you're not sure that you know the answer, you can always derive these and work this out. This is a, a rotation. So we go to our formula booklet where it says that a rotation, part, part one, is cos theta minus sine theta, sine theta, cos theta. Remember that's in the formula booklet? Where theta, well, if we're going 90 degrees clockwise, this is where the angle is theta degrees anticlockwise. So 90 degrees clockwise, theta must be minus pi by 2. In order to produce that, that would give us the one that we want, a 90 degree clockwise rotation. So, and I call this A, and I refer to it later on, A is cos pi by 2, uh, cos of minus pi by 2 even, is still going to be 0. Sine of minus pi by 2, the sine of minus pi by 2 is minus 1, so minus the sine of minus, or minus, minus 1, gives us plus 1. Sine of minus pi by 2 is minus 1. Cos of pi by 2 is 0. And if you just write that down, you've got your two marks for that. So that's the start point. The next one, well now, again, it's another one from the formula booklet, isn't it? It's a reflection in the line, a uh, reflection in the x-axis. So uh, the, the reflection on the formula booklet says cos 2 theta sine 2 theta, sine 2 theta minus cos 2 theta, where um, we, we've got, I don't, know, I don't know if the word where is appropriate there, but anyway, where we're reflecting in the line y equals tan theta x. We want the x-axis. To draw the x-axis, we need y equals 0. So we need tan theta to be zero. And if tan theta equals zero, then the smallest value of theta that produces that is zero. Two times zero is still zero. This is some tough maths. So the second answer that we want is cos of zero, which is one, sine of zero, which is zero, sine of zero, and minus the cos of zero gives us one zero zero minus one. Having established this, the reason I've called these A and B is the question then said, find the single matrix that does that all in one go. And we remember, if we're going to do A, then B, then when we multiply these, we do it in the reverse order. So what we're after here is the matrix B A. So that is B times A, which was 0, 1, minus 1, 0. And if we do our matrix multiplication, we do 1 times 0 plus 0 times minus 1. 1 times 1 plus 0 times 0. 0 times 0 plus minus 1 times minus 1. And 0 times zero, uh, zero times 1 plus minus 1 times 0 gives us that. So we get that matrix. And at this point it then says, remember part 4, describe a single transformation that's represented by your answer part 3. Well, we can either use the fact that that, um, well we could do this a couple of ways. We could either use the fact that that's one of the ones that we originally wrote down as, as the ones that we were going to remember, if we could. Or... We could recognise that that fits that kind of pattern where you've got those two are the same value and those two, one is uh, uh, the negative of the other. Okay, zero, one, minus zero. So it's obviously a reflection. Um, if it's fitting this here, we could work out the value of theta that would give us it. Or we could just think, hang on, what we've done is we've taken a shape, we have rotated it 90 degrees clockwise about the origin, 
so that rotates it over to there. Um, we've reflected it, I've just gone anti-clockwise, haven't I? Rotate it back to be clockwise, rotate it to there. We've reflected it in the x-axis. So what, how could we achieve the same thing? Well, actually, our unit square would end up back at the same point, wouldn't it? But the opposite corners, those two corners, would have swapped round as we've done it. We rotated it and then reflected it. It has the same effect as a reflection of the line y equals x. And that's what we want as our final thing. Now, at this point, we're probably going to stop the video because you're going to start arguing with me about whether you should have got marks for putting things like that down. We've not stopped the video. Yeah, I didn't. That's not the best bit. Well, the bit where you argue with me about where the yeah, marks are. Right. Well, you see, the thing is, the mark scheme <laughs> is saying. I thought I was going to do that as math, so I was going to turn it Wait, sorry, well, leave it on, you know, I don't care. The whole world is watching. <laughs> this is what people really want to see. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's all for a paper date. <laughs> right, here's, here's what it said. Um, you're correct, you needed for that last bit to do a correct description of your part three only. Your part three wasn't the matrix 0, 1, 1, 0, so it wasn't a reflection of the line like because x, so I didn't give you the marks. <laughs> Sorry, John. If you put now for free and now for that one, would you get mad? <laughs> <laughs> I think yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, so that uh, that's that explains it. I'm sorry, it felt really mean because you've got the right answer there. Really that? I, was, I was happy about that. So, yeah, okay. Shall we? Shall we say? And that's maths.